As you may know, there are ever-increasing greenhouse gases emitted into the atmosphere. These gases mostly consist of carbon dioxide, methane, and water vapor. The vast majority of anthropogenic carbon dioxide emissions come from combustion of fossil fuels, principally coal, petroleum, and natural gas, with additional contributions coming from deforestation and other changes in land use. Some ways of mitigating this is by sequestration. Carbon sequestration is the process of capturing and storing atmospheric carbon dioxide. It is one method of reducing the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere with the goal of reducing global climate change. The UN's IPCC developed a carbon credit proposal to reduce worldwide carbon emissions. Here, countries traded carbon credits in exchange for permission to emit greenhouse gases, where one credit is a permit to emit one ton of carbon dioxide. There is more than one kind of market with which trade these credits. One of them includes the voluntary carbon market where private industries can voluntarily offset their carbon footprints by purchasing these credits and subsequently funding conservation activities. Using this mechanism, Blue Finance plans on development of mangrove systems in the Bahamas, a country within the West Indies that consists of more than 700 islands and islets. An estimated 19% of the mangrove forests in the Bahamas have been lost from 1990 to 2005. Blue Finance plans on focusing these development efforts in regions within the West Andros National Park, which is a marine protected area on the Andros Island. On receiving certification from an accreditation body like VERA or Plan Vivo, carbon credits will be issued at certain intervals, provided Blue Finance provides regular reporting with proof of the update on the project. These carbon credits are then sold on the voluntary carbon market and thus the project is funded on purchase of these credits. My role in this project is primarily to determine the pre-feasibility of the project to decide whether or not this project can go ahead. Blue Finance is continuing this project with the help of an external expert, Marina Galvadao of Uber Sustainability. Together, Blue Finance will work closely with the West Andros National Park, as well as with other st external stakeholders like the Bahamian government, the local community, the fisheries and the tourism sector to ensure the success of this grassroots project. For similar reasons, this is also a mandate for some accreditation bodies. Thus, planning the project around the aforementioned stakeholders, including VERA or VCS, is vital for the success of the project. Other stakeholders include carbon traders, the scientific community, and carbon emitters who might be interested in purchasing said credits. However, as the credits are traded on the market, there is little interaction between the sponsors and Blue Finance. Working with Blue Finance has been a tremendous opportunity. As the project is still in the initial phase, I was involved with creating an action plan, checking the economic viability of the project, the legality, the socio-political aspects, the requirements of accreditation bodies, etc. Thus, most of my results are qualitative in nature. The main results was the financial viability analysis. As this project is expected to go on for 20 years, I have ex estimated the expenses and income over a 20-year timeline of the project. Assuming that Blue Finance develops 50 hectares of mangrove, it has been estimated that Blue Finance will make a revenue of $2.4 million and a profit of $1.6 million. Thus, the project has a healthy return on investment of 182%. As this project is still in the initial phase, there remains a high level of uncertainty. However, Blue Finance is currently prioritizing other projects and hence there is a slight delay. Nevertheless, once the project is kick-started, it will require more fieldwork and interaction with the community and will no doubt be an excellent learning opportunity for any future intern. I hope you have a great day. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> why only a great day?